Hi, this is Lou from Foothills Properties. Today I'm in Rancho Vistoso near the intersection of La Cañada and Moore. I'm in front of a house that's for sale. We're looking at the end of the cul-de-sac. I'm going to turn so you can see the entry to the cul-de-sac and I'm going to turn and look at the property and we're going to go in and we're going to take a, a little tour of the property. As you can see, it's a two-story home with a two-car garage. It is four bedrooms. It is two and a half baths. The master is down with a living room, a family room, a den, and a powder room. Three guest bedrooms are up. We're now entering into the two-story great room, living room, living room, dining room. I'm going to pull the door closed behind me. My key safe caught on it. Okay. So that you can see the, the room. I'll move over to the corner to give you a little better angle on it. In the dining room area, you see the niche with the bump out for a break front or whatever you care to put in there. If you don't care to use it as a dining room, that's your decision. I'm just describing the rooms as the designer builder designed it. The home is a Pulte home. I know that because it's on the sign with the address. Here we're in the entry area to the kitchen, the uh, laundry, the powder room, the little office den. We'll turn to our right. We'll turn to our right again. We'll look at the laundry room. We'll go through to the garage. It is not a step down. There is no apron. We'll walk out into the corner. I'll turn as I go. It's good size. There's certainly room over there for a wider shelf, slightly wider shelf, and here for a narrow shelves. And there's room at the end. You can see the gas hot water tank here in the garage for ease of service. We'll go back through the laundry room. Washer and dryer are included. They're here. This is the little office den. There is no door on it. I would guess, and this is me venturing a guess, this is not a warranty. Don't quote me as saying you can do it. If it would be necessary, I would think that somehow a door could be built in there. But I think it's great as an open little office den area. There is the powder room. We'll turn to our right. We'll walk into the kitchen and family room area. You can see the kitchen is open to the family room. There's a great place for a breakfast table right there. The two-door refrigerator with ice and water is in. The gas stove, microwave, dishwasher. I'm going to back up and pan down below so you can see the cupboards down below. We'll come over to this side. There's more cupboards on this side. And I'm going to back up and open this door behind me, which is the pantry. High ceilings here. High ceilings in the family room. And the family room is pitched roof, so it even gives a higher feeling. We'll look at the alcove for the TV. The kitchen area. And it's big and open, which doesn't limit the size of the TV based on today's 80, 90 inch TVs. We'll go out to the back. We'll go 
go through the gate. Oh darn, I locked this, but I'll unlock it now. We'll look at the pool. I'll walk out here so you can see it from this angle. leaves are blown into it. That's part of the weather now. We're just turning into the hotter weather. Pool equipment. You can see the waterfall. The water is coming down. I'm going to lock that gate behind me so I don't forget it. We're going to go in to the great room and look at it again and so that flies and flying creatures don't come through. I'm going to close both doors and uh, there we are. The kitchen again. We'll see it again the third time. We'll walk into the master. It's a good size master. Again, high ceiling with ceiling fans. The, the low celestry windows plus the, the big window. There's lots of light in this room. And yet it has good shutters. Not sorry, shutters, but, but wood or faux wood blinds for taking out the light when you want to sleep. The master bath. Vanity with double sinks, large mirror. Garden tub. Large size shower. So because of the size of the house and the scope of the master suite, um, it's an oversized or large shower, double shower in size, not just a small corner shower. Uh, the master closet, lots of storage. There's a linen closet that's been installed there. It is movable. It is loose and movable. So if you wanted to move it out because you needed more hanging, it's certainly possible to do. The commode room which is nice to have the separate commode room and a bath as large. Again, another look at the master bath from the master bedroom, I mean, from another angle and the master bath. The family room again, the kitchen. little bigger picture, not quite so much wide angle. Okay, we're out into this little circular hall area. Here we have the area under the steps with a lot of storage area under here. Also, as I sometimes say, a great place for kids hide and seek. I certainly remember that when I was a kid. Lo, those many years ago. We're going to walk up to the second floor, the guest bedroom, kids bedroom area. And um, we're not going to show the steps going up. We'll just reboot up at the top. Okay, we're at the top. You can see the landing. The linen closet or linen shelves, storage shelves. We'll go to this first bedroom here. A large bedroom. 
I'll turn as we're into the corner. This bedroom specifically has a walk-in closet. You can see the area here on the landing. Might be a great place for shelves or sitting area. And walk into the second of the three upstairs bedrooms. A turn. This has a large uh, wall closet with bypass doors. I don't know if you could see it, but there's ceiling fans in this bedroom. We'll look at the hall bath here, tub with a shower above. We'll go into the third of the upstairs bedrooms. So now we've seen four bedrooms plus the den, plus the living room and the family room. Again, a wall closet with bypass doors. This is the smallest closet. And all three bedrooms up have ceiling fans, which is very nice because Kids don't usually notice the heat as much as adults, but even so, the fans make it less costly in a general sense than running and setting the air conditioner way down. It's the feeling of the air movement that really affects. And most of us down here in the southern desert, southwestern desert, and throughout the southern states realize and understand that. We're back down at the lower level. You can see from the axis here where we are. I'm going to walk out front, give you a street scene. The entry to the street, the street, and the end of the cul-de-sac. I want to thank you for taking the tour. Wish you a great, great, great Tucson day and a double great day wherever you may be. Thank you.